Hi guys, in today's video I am going to paint a little bird using alcohol pens. These ones touch bowl, bowl, I don't know, I'll leave the, the links in the description of all materials I've used. And I am going to use polychromos, particularly, or actually the, the ones that are metallic that I got in my 120 sets. Um, I wanted to know if they they showed well um, above these alcohol pens. So first of all, I started sketching a little bird. I think I saw this. Uh, I don't know if I made this up. I think <laughs> maybe I just saw it on the internet. Just a little bird. Um, I'm making. A little sketch I'm just two balls start with two balls like trying to make the proportions the beak is very important if you get the beak and the eye right basically it's it's good then I, I mean the paws should should be I don't know if you call it paws <laughs> but the the paws and the fingers yes they should be um, I won't say correct, but I would say uh, pleasant to the eye. And the paws are really hard for the birds. I don't, I don't adore making that. Um, but you know, you have to practice. <laughs> As with the eyes and the beak, there's this like uh, this 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 kind of. Part, this part of the beak that goes um, behind the eye that I didn't usually people just uh, make a triangle and it's not it's like two triangles one a losangle I don't know if you <laughs> probably have that word too it's a losangle and um, and that makes a huge difference uh, when you're when you're drawing a bird. The eyes are usually small and very like just a black dot. Um, and it's funny how you can really change the um, the features, uh, the, the expression of the bird just with that dot if it comes out in one way or another. And also the shine, the shine on the eye can really make 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 it change the expression. So it could be. A, you could use a reference photo, it's very useful for that. Uh, if you don't have a reference photo, you can always do trial and error, <laughs> you know. Um, try to make a little branch so he's not standing on his on bare hair because he's not flying in an in a flying position. And yeah. A lot of twisting and tweaking, tweaking, not twisting. <laughs> trying to tweak it until I, I got, I've got it as I want. Um, take all the time you need. I like that. I actually, <laughs> but I guess I didn't. Uh, now it's worse for me, but yeah. I don't know how it's going to be in the end, I don't remember. I recorded this before Inktober and I'm doing Inktober. You can check that out on Instagram. It's my first Inktober ever. I am doing it only on Instagram because in May I tried to make <laughs> the whole mermaid into videos and well, it didn't go well and I, I, I ended up giving up uh, on mermaid um, this year. Maybe next year I'll do it again because it was it was fun. But I uh, know I don't know. It was it was taking a big toll on me. Um, I felt it was a, a lot of work, and I don't know if it was just the videos because the videos. I mean, there was like 
the beginning, the, the intro, the, the, and uh, the goodbyes uh, are the same, you just kind of change the middle and it's not that long because it's not like a huge video, it's just, just a few minute, minutes or something. But still, it was, uh, I don't know, my baby was still very young, uh, we were starting the quarantine here, no, quarantine, quarantine isolation, and I don't know, I don't know, she was, she was 18 months dead then, and she really needed attention, even to sleep, she needed me to be around her, so it was really hard, and I didn't, um, I didn't have time, I think, because for Inktober, I, it's going so smoothly, and I am working, of, and she's, she's in the kindergarten, or whatever you call it, <laughs> but, um, but sometimes she's sick, because it's the first year ever, and then they get sick a lot, because they, they get in touch with other babies' bacterias, and, and I guess, oh, shit. Sorry. And I guess that um, they get sick a lot because of that, but um, so she she stays at home also. Uh, it's like one week, one week she goes to school and the other week she stays at home. <laughs> well, not that much, but it's it's something like that. And, and I still have I, I still find time. I I'm not doing the videos. I'm just posting. And if in one day I have a little more time, I try to, well, first of all, I plan ahead. I try to, to think, well, this, in this one, I am going to do this. And in that one, well, I just might, even if I change my mind later, or at least I, I come with a bunch of ideas, um, I, I write it on a, on a book, on my sketchbook. And then I try to to make little sketches to to make it um, <laughs> go smoothly, and I, I don't think I did that with uh, the mermaid. I I remember sitting down. First of all, I think I started like with two or three days um, late later, and um, pff, that's bad. <laughs> you always already have that. Oh my god, I'm late. Like three days is a lot. Three three. If you want to mo make a, a video of it, it's even worse, like three videos late, and ah, Jesus, that's too much. Um, so, in this, in this, uh, in this, uh, in the October, October, I, I don't know, I just have everything <laughs> control, under control, and it's already, it's day 20. It's day 20 and I and certainly I don't have that much well maybe I have because she's a little more independent and she's going to school some of the days so yeah I do have more time but also I have to work more because she's not so I don't even have an excuse not to work so I have to work um, from home in this pandemic situation they let me work from home but still I have to work and present work, so um, I'm happy that this is going on and I think it's because I'm thinking um, I'm thinking ahead, maybe that and I am sketching and at least sketching or making the whole piece before the date um, that way it takes the pressure out so much so about this bird, I erased it, as you saw, I sketched it and erased it slightly so I could make like this ink, this line heart, this ink, use this pen, I don't know what pen it was, but it was like 0.3 I think, um, any permanent black pen, um, as you know, I will leave links in the description of the materials yeah, I, I'm using or something very similar that you can buy um, and now I am using these alcohol pens that are very cheap comparing to like Copic markers or even Winston and Newton uh, what is it called? Pro mark marker? Pro markers? and well, actually I like these ones better than Pro markers because of the way I can 
uh, lay them out and how, how they spread without having these striations. I don't know if you have that word in English. Um, it doesn't get li like all these risks. It gets very smooth and very and very well spread. Uh, the colors are very gorgeous. The, the only thing is that they are very pigmented. They are very strong with very very dark it's not a dark color the tones are just very very dark and so you don't have any kind of pastels or whatnot you have like two or three uh, one of these days i'll make <laughs> i'll t i'll tell you all about my alcohol pens the ones i have i have tried a few brands even if just one or two pens of each brand or one or two like three or four pens of each brand like a little set um but about but these ones that i'm using now i bought a huge set like a 60 60 pen set um that came from china i think i ordered them in aliexpress and well it was it was uh, it was not expensive uh, i mean if it was for the price they i bought them it would be like pretty cheap and with good results uh but then i had, I had something in the custom you know when the product is getting in in the country yeah uh alfandga i don't know i don't i don't remember how you call it but i have to i had to pay uh an extra an extra tax or something to to get them to me when they arrived in in Portugal. So uh, they become became a little more expensive, but not as copic, of course. Uh, and they are so cool, and I wanted them because I didn't want to invest in something like um, like copics because they are really expensive, and I I can't live off my art yet so it, it really it's and, and i have a baby now and it, it just makes me wonder if i should spend this money or that money so i tried sometimes to to buy cheaper things um uh, to to start at least to see if i like it if i can do anything with it if it's really not my alley i i just you know <laughs> i just didn't spend that that much money there's the the other version of the thing that you could say like well if you don't buy the good ones how do you know you like them or, or how do you know you can do stuff with it yeah they're these are not bad and i and i could see it i, I had bought some in in that were in sale in sale they were <laughs> a store that was se selling them in portugal and i'm I bought a few so I could try try it try them out, and I just I fell in love with these alcohol uh, pens. And now they how they blend in the paper, and now they blend together. They're just great. I love them. I love the effect. I don't like that they bleed that much, and they are really messy in sketchbooks because usually sketchbooks aren't that thick, or the paper is not uh prepared for this kind of uh, inks no? um but yeah i love them i love to mix them i love them and these ones i really all of them right well paint well if are, are juicy they are really juicy and you can really make some stuff with them and here is just a simple bird you know i was just trying out the metallic pencils that's that's what this video what this video is about it's not actually about alcohol pens i wanted oh oh i didn't just use the yeah i remember i didn't just use the the metallic ones i used more colors uh because i thought well, let's try everything <laughs> and i wanted to see um alcohol pens with pencils just it, it came it came out of the you know i see a lot of youtube channels also art youtube channels and um a bunch of them are about watercolor and 
a lot of people use watercolor as an under under coat or something like that and they they make accents of the colors with uh, with polychromos or with pencils and i thought uh one of one of these days i was thinking why not try with with local pens huh that would be great i love how how local pens work you have much more control than watercolors and maybe maybe it shows and it does <laughs> it's really cool you can do a lot with these two mediums together a lot you can make things really really this is just an, a simple exercise and i'm not the best artist in the world so imagine what you can do <laughs> you know and it's these polychromos just are incredible and i know i spend a lot of, of money in in the 120 set i really did those were probably my most expensive um well pencils uh, and even art material i mean not considering um i mean even my microphone was cheaper than <laughs> well i need one I, need, I think i need one. i bought an i bought one and it works worse than this old one so i'm keeping the old one i just I didn't buy one I wanted. I wanted like one, I think it's called Blue. I've seen it. I've seen people use it and it the sound they sound amazing. And I wanted to to buy that, but when I saw it on, on Amazon, it was very expensive and I I don't know. I didn't want to invest all that money in a mic. Then I saw another one that people were saying great things about it. I hate it, by the way. Maybe it's it's me and I don't know how to um, how to plug it correctly but you know on buying that mic I found out more about this old mic and doing what I learned with the new one on the old one it works <laughs> it works better so okay I, I got something out of buying that one but uh, I can't even give that up because I'm afraid that like if I offer that in this channel uh, for instance uh, I'm afraid that the person who receives it won't be able to use it also the instructions are really rudimentary <laughs> so I don't know I don't know well uh, speaking about offers I will offer these little birds to if I can find them <laughs> I will offer this little bird to the first person who comments I want this metallic bird in comments below and give me an address that we have to where I can send him <laughs> yes I am giving this little guy up um, so in here I am touching the birds with polychromos I am trying my best to make him look 3d and have all these little effects of feathers and changing of tones you know because it's it, it, when you when you when you when you add a bunch of layers uh it doesn't matter the medium you add and add and add and do all these little you, you have to, to take a little time and it's so relaxing anyway so it's not like ah oh, stressing out to because i have to do this and but not no it's so relaxing but enjoy the moments and make layers and layers and layers because eventually they all get visible and it really changes it's something else that changes your work whatever you do if you if you're doing a building if you're doing a bird if you're doing landscape don't just make one one layer and that's it or one layer and lights and dark just do a bunch of tones, make, um, add variation. Oh, I was trying here to, to erase it and yeah, it comes off. It's beautiful. You can do whatever you want. Uh, just use a lot of to mid tones. I think that's, that, that would be use, use of middle tones and then add lights and shadows and even in the lights and shadows you can have a bunch of uh, 
use so look at that white even the polychromos i mean white pencils usually are useless <laughs> yes we have to admit that um but i this this polychromos is not that bad in here i i use i have that there went chinese chinese there went something like that white chinese white the went pencil that was seth um lacry lacry lisa lacry she has a, a an art channel she's wonderful and she said that she she started to talk about that uh, that chinese white and so i bought a few about three i think and it's great it's a great great white pencil but in this case i think polychromos works as well because you see the this little guy's face it got it got all all white and shiny when i when i use the white and there in the in the yellow in his breast it, it was becoming really light too so i was really impressed with polychromos here the white one it was really good so as i was saying and as i made and as as i am doing here i am adding a little um variations of views and uh, so i can have a lot of layers and a lot of interest in in the piece and don't forget also that when you had like a little bit like his feathers are yellow so the yellow will reflect in other parts of him like the beak and oh here i'm trying the metallic so oh, it's the the silver one and it does show i mean not much when you're looking straight ahead it shows the gray which is great it's another layer and then it's so shiny <laughs> so cool. i was really happy with this one it's just it's just a little test and but um i was really happy with him because everything worked out and it's really this is the copper one that comes with it and then there's a golden one so as i was saying the the, the light reflects you know so the beak is going to be shown a little in the breast and the 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 feathers around it you can play with it so and also your high just travels like uh sometimes from color to color uh, sometimes from point to point where's the same color and it's good to have it spread out the entire work just even if it doesn't make really sense to you or is not that visible to you just try it out and see how it, how it goes just make a fun experiment that's the best thing you can do to learn how to work is grab the materials don't be afraid of be of failure don't be afraid of the white page don't be afraid of throwing money away or um because i i was like that once i was really like that and i'm still very cautious to use some materials and i have a bunch of materials already if i if i would get stuck and couldn't buy from anywhere i i had i have materials to work like for three years straight so i don't know just just now i look like well i think all, art, all artists are a bit like that we look like hoarders <laughs> I, mean, hoard. I always needed a new sketchbook and when i even pens and pencils and rubbers i oh, just i just get lost in it and i always need some some mechanical pencil and i always need the pen and <laughs> when i go shopping i always bring something home even if it's just like a few cents oh but this is so cute i'm gonna draw a lot with this but then oh, i have to work oh then i have to baby oh it's the house then i have to shop like for the house then i have billings to pay and then i have to you know all that life <laughs> and then um but then when you when you need or have an idea for something else and you you do have the materials right behind you 
behind you, right beside you. <laughs> It's so good, like you, all you have to do, oh, but I have this, I'm going to try this. It's good to have it there. But as I, as I was going to say before, um, try it out. It's the best way. You can watch one or two videos in the internet and uh, yeah, it's okay to get inspired and to see what other people do, but there's nothing better than you trying out for yourself. So I'm using this white gel pen just to give some final touches and accents. Uh, I don't like these very much. I, I rather like the Posca fine. But, okay. <laughs> so, I have all the links in the description for the materials, for my social media, for my Etsy shop, if you want to check it out. Uh, I would appreciate it a lot. I also have, if you could buy anything from my shop, I also have a PO box that you can write to me and show me stuff you do. Or send me something to try. Oh, this one. Love it. Love it. Recommended to pieces. It's the most wonderful white pen ever. We'll never buy anything else, just this one. Yes. I'm using this one at the Inktober. I am doing that right now. Um so all the description all the links are in the description. Have a lot of fun paint don't be afraid to use things show me what you made if you have an instagram account just tag me if you do something inspired and <laughs> uh, inspired by my videos and if you got some value of, out of this video click the the like button and if you want to see more content please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified when i post new content so this is me uh, leaving i think this is all i did with a little bird and as i said this guy is going out for the first person to comment i want this metallic bird <laughs> i think it was this phrase something like that and gives me an address so i can send it to you uh, thank you so much for watching till next time Bye-bye.